Hey guys, so I'm just doing this video to kind of set the record straight. In an earlier video, I had said that the extended version to the 2006 horror film Stay Alive was the superior version that is a lie. I did that in reference to my review for Megan about how um, I felt like it would have been better as an R-rated horror film. And based on my memory, the theatrical cut for Stay Alive seemed like really kind of choppy, like it was meant to be rated R. And I at the time, again, found that bothersome. And I found the extended version far superior because it had all the gore and it was cool because you get to see like, you know, the person who created the video game, Angelita Jolie's brother, I believe, whatever. So I got really excited for my wife to watch this when it came in the mail. And as we're sitting down and watching it, she kind of started to tune out and so did I. And I was kind of like, damn, dude, I was like, this movie kind of drags a little bit doesn't it it spends so much time like away from the video game and 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 that scene with the video game creator it's just exposition and then after that it's like another scene of exposition with this like chick in some new agey witch shop and it's kind of like okay whoa 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 this movie took a detour it is dragging ass it's not even about the video game anymore she's kind of like devolved into this like <laughs> generic early 2000s horror film. Don't get me wrong, even the theatrical cut, there's a lot of very 2000s thing about it, namely with like the muted colors and whatnot. Another thing is the character in this movie, Phineas, who back in the day, my friends and I always used to love, was like really freaking obnoxious. I mean, I think maybe that's just partially because I've grown a little bit, but no, the character is really freaking obnoxious in the in the extended version. In the theatrical cut, it's like perfect. It's like just enough. There's also a scene in the beginning that's really freaking weird where the main character, Hutch, is having this like awkward ass conversation with this new chick that he just met who is like peeing and he goes to hand her the toilet paper and like maintains conversation with her like while his girlfriend is in the next room and it's so weird and uncomfortable. That's not in the theatrical cut. And as I'm watching this with my wife, I'm thinking to myself, was I on glue? No, marijuana. This was our favorite thing to watch when we were like super, super, super stoned and everything's better when you're stoned. As far as the way I had originally perceived the theatrical cut, it's not choppy for the most part. There is a scene where a certain character gets killed, they get hung upside down and their throat gets slit. It is very awkwardly edited, like it was supposed to be R-rated. They also show a lot of what I would consider to be R-rated images in the PG-13 cut, but they're like super short, like lips, like almost like a subliminal message. And to me, it's sort of like, that's still like an kind of R-rated image that you're putting in a PG-13 movie. But I mean, it was like just enough so that you could just see it and just get the effect. In all God's honesty, the theatrical cut of Stay Alive is about as metal as a PG-13 movie can get before it becomes rated R. Do I think that it was originally intended to be the way the extended cut is? Yes. Do I think it's better cut down? Yes, because after watching the extended cut, I was thinking to myself, this movie would have been a lot better if it were like 15 minutes shorter. And lo and behold, the director's cut is one hour and 41 minutes long, and the theatrical cut is one hour and 25 minutes long. And that is the perfect runtime. It is to the point. Like I said, for a PG-13 movie, it is very metal. And if you can get by, like, the like maybe two scenes of kind of awkward editing. It's really pretty solid. It is really a hidden gem of the 2000s. If you're a if you're a horror movie fan, like I would definitely recommend checking this movie out, the theatrical cut. I again, I wanted to set the record straight because literally like what, seven videos ago, I said that this was the superior cut and I I do not I do not want to do that to my fan base. The theatrical cut is better, and that's the version that you can get on digital or whatnot. There's a reason why this never left its original format, in my opinion. Anyways, guys, stay alive. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Uh, let me know what you thought, and also feel free to give me a follow on Rumble, and that's all she wrote.